While layoffs have been the national conversation around work in Minnesota, as Gordon just mentioned, it's the shortage. That's the big concern in many sectors. We're going to focus on schools right now. In 2021, 70% of Minnesota schools said they were significantly impacted by teacher shortages. But as Kent learned today, a new report shows that problem has gone from bad at that point to much worse. Minnesota's teacher shortage has gone from bad to worse in just the last two years. According to the latest report of supply and demand of teachers in Minnesota, 84% of school districts say they're either significantly or very significantly impacted by the teacher shortage right now, with that jumping to 89% significantly impacted by the substitute teacher shortage. It wasn't a surprise, but it's um, never encouraging. Elena Bailey is interim director of the Professional Educator Licensing and Standards Board, which prepared the report. She says for most districts, the shortage remains urgent, with nearly 73% reporting that they have budgeted positions that remain unfilled. But they blame issues that have been growing for years, including too few applicants, wage competition from outside employers, and growing negative public perception of teaching. Equity has always been a concern that's not new in teaching, right? It's never been the highest paid profession. But certain narratives around respect for the profession and its role in the community have shifted over time. And so I think one of the things we're looking into is how do we get better information on the impact of that and what can we do to, you know, address that because that's impacting the shortage. And addressing the shortage will take more than one fix. We have a pipeline issue in terms of recruitment, um, but we also have a retention issue and we need to be looking at both of those together. Denise Speck with Education Minnesota points to new data showing nearly a third of new teachers leave teaching within the first five years in the profession. And we're talking about things like uh, caseloads, high, high class sizes, um, you know, requirements and mandates to do more with less tools, with less time. A lot of that comes down to lack of support. You know, those first first few years are challenging and very difficult. And it's not just burning out new teachers. Last year's Minspire survey of 10,000 teachers of all experience levels found that 19% were making plans to leave teaching or leave education entirely. And of those who did leave the profession recently, most cited unsupportive administration, a negative climate for teachers, and low pay. That may sound like a similar refrain, but with a record surplus at the Capitol, advocates hope the response won't be the same old song. We've been talking about staffing shortages in our schools for a long, long time. Um, I think the one thing that feels different here, though, is that we have uh, an opportunity to make sure that we can address some of the issues. We can do this. It's Kent reporting. We appreciate it.